U.S. Senate hearing questions M.C. Kinsey's role in endangering national security. Introduction. Hello and welcome to Capture the Intelligence, your trusted source for in-depth analysis of current affairs. Today, we'll delve into a highly significant development that sheds light on the growing scrutiny of American companies' involvement with Chinese state-owned enterprises. The recent hearing involving M.C. Kinsey Company, a renowned consulting firm, has brought to the fore Front the potential risks to U.S. national security posed by such collaborations. Join us as we dissect the details of this hearing, its implications, and the broader context of U.S.-China relations. The M.C. Kinsey hearing a pivotal moment. On Tuesday, February 7, 2023, the U.S. Senate Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs held a hearing focused on M.C. Kinsey Company's business dealings with Chinese state-owned enterprises. The hearing was prompted by concerns raised by Senator Josh Hawley, Republican Missouri, who has been vocal in his criticism of the consulting firm's dual role as an advisor to both Chinese state-owned enterprises and the U.S. government. Josh Hawley directly questioned its serving America's enemy CCP and endangering U.S. national security. Senator Hawley's assertions. Senator Hawley opened the hearing by emphasizing the inherent conflict of interest in M.C. Kinsey's simultaneous provision of services to entities considered adversarial to the United States and the U.S. government itself. He argued that this arrangement poses a direct threat to U.S. national security and undermines the integrity of American institutions. M.C. Kinsey's defense In response to Senator Hawley's accusations, a M.C. Kinsey partner present at the hearing maintained that the firm has a rigorous client selection process in place. This process, according to the partner, ensures that the company's services align with U.S. laws and regulations. He further clarified that a significant portion of M.C. Kinsey's work in China involves collaborations with multinational corporations, including American companies and private enterprises. Specific examples of M.C. Kinsey's work with Chinese state-owned enterprises. The hearing brought to light specific instances of M.C. Kinsey's this involvement with Chinese state-owned enterprises that have raised eyebrows among U.S. lawmakers. These include providing consulting services to the China communications construction company CCCC, a company blacklisted by the U.S. government due to its role in constructing artificial islands in the South China Sea and engaging in military-related activities, advising China ocean shipping company Costco, a state-owned shipping and logistics giant, on its global expansion and operations, including its involvement in a military resupply mission in the Gulf of Aden. The significance of the hearing The M.C. Kinsey hearing serves as a watershed moment in the evolving dynamic between the U.S. and China. It underscores the U.S. government's heightened focus on the activities of Chinese state-owned enterprises within American borders and the potential risks associated with U.S. companies' dealings with these entities. Potential implications for U.S.-China relations. The hearing's fallout could have far-reaching implications for U.S.-China relations, including increased scrutiny of Chinese state-owned enterprises operating in the U.S., leading to potential restrictions and limitations on their activities, heightened pressure on American companies to reassess their relationships with Chinese state-owned enterprises, potentially leading to a reduction in such partnerships, a broader reassessment of the role of consulting firms and their influence on U.S. policy and decision-making processes. Conclusion The M.C. Kinsey hearing has brought to the forefront critical issues related to the intersection of U.S. national security, corporate interests, and the growing influence of Chinese state-owned enterprises. As the U.S. government continues to grapple with the challenges posed by China's rise, it remains to be seen how this hearing will shape future policies and regulations governing the activities of American companies in relation to Chinese entities. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel. Your support enables us to continue delivering high-quality content that sheds light on the complexities of the modern world.